Hello everyone, welcome to Stampin' Grotto. Today we are going to be learning how to make this pretty quick and easy, fun, non-traditional color Christmas card. So stay tuned. Okay, so today we are using the Cottage Wreaths stamp set along with the country wreaths die so this the die set this is a matching die set that goes with this very pretty and useful stamp set so we are going to create this card using a base um, card using basic white this is cut to eight and a half by five and a half and it is scored at four and a quarter to make our card base and then we are going to take a piece of our fresh Frieza cardstock and we are going to cut this to four inches by five and a quarter inches because we're going to create some layers. We're going to take a piece of basic black and we are going to cut that to three and three quarters by five inches. It's going to layer just like this. And then we're going to take another piece of basic white cardstock. This is the regular, this was the thick. And we are going to cut this to three and a half by four and three quarters. So three and a half by four and three quarters. And in the stamp set for cottage wreaths, we are going to take these little stamps. So it's kind of like pine bows a little bit. And using the fresh Frieza stamp pad, we are going to just cover the cardstock with these stamps. And that is going to create another layer that's gonna go just like this. I also went ahead and die cut using this die in basic black and fresh freesia, this these kind of little cute little wreaths and we are going to layer those on. So they're gonna layer on just like this. And then using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I just stamped the Merry Christmas. So this Merry Christmas from the set. This piece is cut to three and three quarters by a half an inch. And I'm gonna go ahead and layer that on a piece of basic black that is also cut to three and three quarter inches by five eighths of an inch. And then to kind of finish off my wreath, I went ahead and die cut one of these little bows. So this is a bow from the, from the die set. And I just die cut that in basic black. So let's go ahead and mat all of these together. So I'm just gonna grab my liquid glue and I'm gonna start with my four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of fresh freesia. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on there and then I'm just going to center it on my card base. The great thing about using the liquid glue is that you have a little bit of time to move things around because it stays tacky. And then I am going to do the same thing with my piece oops, with my piece of basic black and I'm just going to layer that on just like that. And do the same thing with my stamped piece of basic white. And then I'm going to take these pieces and I'm just gonna dab, starting with the black, I'm just gonna dab little bits of glue in the bigger spaces, in that center area. And then I'm just gonna lay that down 
in the center like that. And then I'm going to take my wreath, my die cut wreath in Fresh Freesia. And I'm going to do that same thing. And I'm just going to make sure that these are offset. But still centered on top of one another. And then I'm going to layer these two pieces together for my sentiment. have a sentiment strip that just looks like that and then I'm just gonna take a piece this is for my stamp and dimensionals I always try and use up every little bit that I have and I am just going to lay this on my card just like that give it a little bit of dimension there and then I am going to just put a little dab of glue in the center here. And I'm just going to put that bow just like this. And then to finish off my card, I am just going to grab some of the 2021 to 2023 in color opal rounds. And I am just going to put a few of these on my cart just like that so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and as always if you are interested in seeing more don't forget to click on that subscribe button thanks everyone